hi and welcome to my login system so I'm just going to demonstrate how this system works so click on start there and right here I just want you guys to see these uh, the following data in here okay there are two different data here and um, let's use one of these first to log in I will deliberately enter the wrong information there okay let's come in here and just enter that that will be for Sally at gmail.com and right here let's enter wrong data in there if I log on that's what you get you see that is incorrect supposing I try to enter this is supposed to be Sally's username supposing I try to enter this very username let's see if that will work one two three four five there that's invalid so we will now enter Sally's own password I mean as Sally's password 78809 there you gain access into the system see so what I'm going to do next is I'll take you guys straight into the application and show you how I managed to put this together but just before then I'm going to get rid of these two so that you guys see how I do that so double click on that and just uh, enable those let's run the system again so that you don't see those two list box okay now I'm going to give it a try so the username is paul at gmail dot com and the password for paul is seven Okay, that should be three nines and zero there so what I'll do next is just take you guys straight into visual basic development environment and then you see how I put this together so let's go into VB now hi and welcome to visual basic password tutorial so the first thing I would do now is just align this form let's align its center and change the form size to 1000 366 by 700 so that depends on your on your screen actually then the next thing I would do is maybe change the back color change the back color to black go to properties let me just get a, a group box and let's change the color of that very group box to something let's go for gray yeah that's not too bad and let's see how it looks on the system okay all right the next thing is let's add another group box there that is where the password will be itself so right there come into the property again and change the color maybe to control or maybe any other light color all right that's fine now I'm going to need two one here and maybe another one here so I can, I can also copy this let's just copy it across okay I need two labels actually there's one here and just copy it and I also need maybe two text box copy and three buttons one two and three there okay the next thing now is for us to let's enhance the size of this component for us come to the property and just change the font size to something a little bit readable make that bold 15 and 16 that's fine okay label one change that to username and label two change that to password this very button let's just call that login 
next one will be known as reset followed by cancel there so I have all my components in place now let's just change this to multi-line and this one as well to multi-line okay so that's good yes. all right that's fine now if I run this program what you will see is my very form right there my login system okay so that's looking a bit okay so just get rid of that get rid of this one as well there all right the next thing I would do now is to create a database because uh, I like my login system to actually check for the the user's details inside the database before you can log into the system and the system you want to log into is right here let me show you the system I suppose you guys have seen it before my train ticketing system so let's create something for that so let's go for database we need yeah there we go okay let's create access database and select blank I'm just going to call it password and select a location for this very file maybe on my desktop for now or maybe right here on my desktop would be fine okay save it right there create now select design view and maybe give that a name login that's fine then let's enter let's say customer id oh no, no let's just call that username username i'm going to get rid of the primary key then followed by password there the username i'm going to change that to numbers and this one may be long text that's fine that's all so come to view yes save it come to view right there so just enter my username maybe nine yeah and maybe the password here be four and here go for about 10 of those okay guys I've finished creating my username and the password in my database I'm just gonna save that that's it I cannot close the database the next step is to come to my data right here select that add new data click on next make sure the database is selected click on next and select new connection now we need to change the data source click on change select access database click on ok and there browse to wherever the location of the data the database is is right here click on open I'm going to delete this user name delete that okay let's test the system I leave the username and the password I leave it empty there's nothing there so let's test the connection the connection is successful that's fine click on OK now that's the database right there it's connected click on next and this is just asking you would you like me to save the database into the project file click on yes and then click on next drop this down we can see the content in the database that is it so click check this and make sure all of this is selected click on finish there your database is now in place now to view your database come back to the menu or data and click on show data source that is the data there they are right there okay, I'm just gonna close that now let's come to my list box right here 
let's reduce this a little bit like that and take this back in the middle yeah so right here and repeat exactly the same thing for this okay now you see this small rectangle here yeah? click on that and check okay use data bind item click on that the data source click on the data source and drop this down again and again select the login because I want the login alright now display member the member I would like it to display is the username okay I want the username in there so that's fine so we want the username there so which means this list box will display the username and the other list box let's click on that check this as well and let's get our database in place now we want the password display all right that's fine let's move this up a bit or maybe take this down here okay now it's looking good okay then yeah so double click on the cancel button and just enter me dot close or you can always say application dot exit the choice is yours so that's application dot exit okay so either one we get rid of the systems okay so I'm just gonna comment this one out comment that out and go back onto the form double click on the reset and enter textbox one dot equals does text equals empty so I'm gonna repeat the same thing for textbox two so let's just change this one to textbox two that's it done okay go back to the system if I run it let me run it so that you guys see what I'm talking about so you see the details of my of my users there so what I want them to be able to do is to enter their password and if it's correct this system will open up the second system okay so let's exit and continue so double click on on the login button there and enter as follows dim i as integer that's for the very first one okay equals list box list box one there list box one dot find string is very method there the string we want to find is the content inside the text box double click on that and there then you enter the following list box one itself dot select selected index equals i sorry it's not one okay then the next thing we want to do now is we might as well create another one for the second list box so I'm just gonna copy all of these paste that there and in this case that will be Q and change this one to list box 2 text box 2 and Q there okay we continue by using a statement and say as follows okay um, let's use the word and there and this that is for text box too all right and in this case we want list box two minus one as well okay so the next thing we need to do now is to call call our from 
one so let's get that started so to now if the data is correct so we just ask the form one to show and that's form one right there so here i'm going to copy that and just change that to and and that's for text box two and list box two there so maybe we let's put a bracket there and right here as well So all we just need to do now is to try out this this program and see how it if it actually works. So I see that now. Okay, let's run the program. There. So let's try this out and see what will happen. So I'm actually using the username there and the password in there. So let's go for the following there seems nothing is happening so let's check the code and see what what must have gone wrong all right the second part of this uh, variable that the data type should have been string okay and me dot show no let's go for me dot hide let's hide it and right there form two dot show there okay hopefully that's that should take care of it so let's run it again so you can always have a good look at the lines of code anyway so let's run it again and see if it will work all right you see those so let me enter that for the very first guy whose name is or whose email is Paul Arts gmail so there the system is working as expected that's brilliant so let's end that okay now let's run it again maybe use completely different password there let me go for maybe four five seven zero this very one here and let's select as the password there there the system is working guys so that's brilliant I like that but just one modification you see these very list box I like those list box disappear so I think what I need to do is uh, double click on the form itself form load let's just say list box one dot invisible make that force equals force and list box two dot visible that becomes force as well okay now one more thing I think I'm going to swap this around I like this one to be up here and this down here so that would go for we enter our password there our username the username will be your email address and that's the password in the case of the password let's change this all of this let's come here password let's change that to star there okay so let's give that a try one more time Okay, if you still remember, Paul at gmail.com and Paul's password is 79990. There, guys, you see the system is working as expected. That's a very good, that's a very good login system. So, guys, with that, I'm just going to call it the end of this program. I suppose you all enjoy it. So I'll just exit and uh, you all have a nice day now. Bye for now.